Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art and I are with the well doffed Bill Jordan. Nice hat, Bill. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, One yeah, of my newer ones. It's not frayed on the front yet. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about you. Uh, you know, the couple things that concern me about you you're not frayed. Uh, I, well, I can't actually see them in this shot. Uh, it looks like you're not wearing torn shorts no, uh, that have been around since before Noah built the ark. Right. Because you did have some of those that we shared before. And another yes. thing, what happened to the mess? I mean, I mean not the mess, the, the uh, disorganized organization that you're normally known for. Well, you know, I, I don't remember if we've talked about decluttering uh, before now. It seems like we have in about how when we get older... <clears throat> we're trying to get rid of the stuff that we've spent our lives, you know, acquiring knickknacks and whatever it might be that just fill up your house. And after a while they become invisible. And I would try to declutter. My wife and I would go through, find clothes to donate to Goodwill or whatever it might be, or take something to the dump. And we, neither of us have a big car. We've both got hatchbacks, uh, but it might, it would be an insurmountable, number of trips to the dump. As much as I love going to the dump, believe me, I do love it. <laughs> but there is a way that I discovered, actually it was passed on to me by our daughter, and they were doing this with yard work and just said, <clears throat> rent a dumpster. Never, uh... never occurred to me. But if you are really meaning to Got to, you got a case of the bound twos, you're bound to do it, round to it, rent a dumpster, just Google it in your area, dumpster rental, you will probably find a ton of options based on the number of days you want, how big a dumpster you want, uh, all kinds of prices on there too, but I found a dumpster, had it delivered, uh, we requested a 15 cubic yard dumpster, they did not have them. They brought us a 20 cubic yard dumpster. We rented it for eight days. They brought it, they backed it into the driveway. It was on rollers, rolled it down right, right exactly where I wanted it. It's opened, already had stuff in the garage to go out. By the end of that time, and there were some, we could have gotten more stuff out quite honestly, but we had a couple of doctor's appointments and just life kept us from doing this, you know, full time. But at the end of the eight days, and then they, they let me know how much the total was, 1,100 pounds. Wow. Of wow. So, wow. So you had, you had a physical dumpster in your driveway as opposed to, by the way, that's a great idea. Out here in uh, California, uh, I think you all and a few others have these, uh, uh, maybe Home Depot or Lowe's have these bags that you can uh, uh, you can get and they put it in your driveway as well. But it's like almost like a soft bag and you just fill those up. So, but you sound like uh, uh, you had quite a bit. Did you empty your neighbor's house into there? To what now? Did you empty your neighbor's house? Into no, I mean, it was our stuff and we've still got stuff. I mean, wow. We've still got stuff we've got to figure out what to do with. But this was just the immediate stuff. And, and Mary Ann was kind of teasing me. It's like I was packing this thing like packing a car because I didn't know how much stuff we were going. You know, I didn't know I didn't want to run out of room. Yeah. And yeah. So I'm placing stuff, man. I'm I'm making it compressed. And I think uh, they were they would allow with the deal we got. Two and a half tons. So I was I was well within wow. what I was allowed. Eleven hundred. So a little over. Yeah, half but a ton, half a twenty stuff. cubic yard dumpster. That's a lot of clutter, Bill. Well, yeah, well, again, you, you must I, have been living a great life to have all that clutter. I didn't fill it, but you know, we, we again, if we've talked, if it's not with you guys, I've talked to somebody about it. Just over time, you know, your your parents mm -hmm. may pass. You go through that house. You pick up a piece of furniture that has sentimental value. Somebody who's going to take it. Mom and Dad would right. want somebody to have it. You end up taking it. You've got no place for it. It matches nothing else in the house. And at, at some point, you've got to realize, at least I did, that my mom and dad would go, you don't need that. It's okay. You can get rid of it. We So we've yeah. donated quite a bit. Uh, so in addition to the dumpster, there was also 
numerous runs to uh, a local charity uh, place that take donated clothes. Yeah, like, good, like Goodwill or Salvation Army. We yeah, do that as well. It. But there are some things that they won't take. For instance, I have an old aluminum ladder. And they wouldn't sure. take it because they said, well, we'll take your TVs because we strip them down for all the stuff. And we send them out to do that. But they won't take certain things. So you either have to drive them out to the dump, which in our case is uh, it's, it's quite a drive. And then you really want to fill up the whole car. And then it's your car. We have an SUV, but you have to, you know, to clean it out afterwards. So that was that's really clever. I never thought to, uh, of course, maybe we didn't have as much junk as you have. Uh, you may have been the, the the king of junk because you like you like to do things like on a grand scale anyway. But well, what, a, it, what a great idea! That how smart was that? You know what? I mean, it, it's it's glaringly simple. Just shop around. Even had one lady say, "Hey, if you shop around and somebody quotes you a lower price, call us back and we'll match it." It's like, why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> If I've already got a great price here, where I'm going, to, hey, they're going to match it. I'm going to call the other people back. So we just went with them <clears throat> with this particular company. They were great, and again, it's a glaringly simple, so simple we don't think of it. Well, that, put that dumpster out there, and then you just do your best to just throw stuff in it. You know, the, that's not the hard part, though. The hard part is bringing yourself to say, <clears throat> yes, I'm finally going to get rid of this stuff. Yeah, and, and a lot of it is sentimental. Both my wife and, and, and I are yeah. sentimental. I've grown more so as I've gotten older, and we just took the tip from several people. If it's, you take a picture of it. You take yeah. a picture of, you know, take a picture of a picture. Um, we've got <laughs> old frame pictures that we, we just tossed. Um, yeah. I mean, it, you, yeah. you have to, be, you got to be a little brutal about it if you want to be good about it. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll share with you that what we did about four or five years ago is at one point we were collecting those Kincaid pictures, you know, the ones of the, the winter with the soft lights coming out of them. Yeah. And we must have had about 12 or 13. And uh, at our house, there's probably no wall space that does not have either photographs or really nice paintings that we've purchased over the years. And so those haven't been up in years, but we just couldn't get rid of them. Well, we got rid of them. One day we just said, we need the space to store more stuff that we don't need. So <laughs> it finally made it out of the house. But uh, the, the thing that I found uh, when we did our decluttering was how many copies of these plastic separators for files on a desk did we have? At one point, somebody must have said, hey, we don't need these anymore. You like to take them? And they got stored in my house. And we yeah. never used them. You know, that kind That's of stuff. Thing. Marianne laughs at me. And, and I say this only semi-jokingly. I like the look of going into an art museum. You walk into a big room and there is a painting on the wall. Mm. Yeah. And that's it. I would, <laughs> love to, I would love to have a room where you walk in and there's like a chair and an end table and a lamp. Oh, wow. That, that but you know, your... you know why they can do that? Because they actually have a warehouse that's filled with all the clutter. That you, that's right. That, that you and I never see. So, so, how do you feel? How do you feel that you've uh, uh, decluttered, uh, obviously, on steroids with this dumpster and thing? Yeah. How do you um, feel? I, I, the biggest, the biggest area that I can notice is well, two biggest garage, which still has work to do, but our attic. Now, wow, given our weather, right. it's a little hot to work up in the attic at the moment. But I we I we have cleared so much stuff out of that attic. Uh, it just it's just been sitting there, boxes of stuff. Whether that be from my, my old career in radio, which again I've taken pictures or saved what I really 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 wanted, yeah. uh, that maybe my my daughter or grandkids may want someday. But man, I mean, it's we could put a ping pong table up there right now. I think never could. Okay, so give us now, give us a wrap up uh, on decluttering. Now that you have, uh, it's like a, a whole, it's like starting an exercise program. You've done yeah, something. To, the problem is we keep trying to organize our stuff. And the best way to organize it is to get rid of it. <laughs> if you, you know, it, the old saying, less, less is more, is a true statement. Yeah. Keep yeah. the really good stuff, keep the really, really sentimental stuff, and just get rid of the rest. Now, some people, you know, I'm going to see you on A&E's Hoarders or whatever the show is. I get that. 
you know, and um, but for us, it just got to be where it wasn't invisible anymore. We're stepping over stuff, stepping around stuff. Um, yeah. You know, Bill, I think it, it's a function of age and it's not just for boomers, by the way. <laughs> but no, I think it's a function of age. You have to have acquired so much stuff. Yep. And 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 of course, it's all precious. You know, oh, I can't get rid of that. That's like, you know, that's don't touch my cap collection now. I've got like 50 caps. I rotate three, but I need the rest of them. So, um, yeah, at some point, you just it's it's just easier to get rid of it. And I think you'll feel better. It's also it it involves mental clutter too. When you just see this stuff, whether you're conscious of it or not, I just feel better going into a clean, minimalistic looking area. You That's know, I think I think uh, uh, we we dumpster. We'll thank you later. We know that you are talking about expanding your your fifteen, really sixteen principles. Maybe. Uh, principle 17 could be cleaning up your act. Could be, but it is covered. I forget the number off the top of my head, but it is covered in the keep it simple practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, good. Good point. Well, All right, thank well, you. Here, see ya. Yeah. Uh, thank and you, guys. Whether you're, whether you're a boomer or not, this was all my little movement here of Embrace the Boom is all designed to uh, encourage, inspire, and empower my fellow baby boomers but it's for any age to live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Thanks for having me. Remember, when you declutter, this is not clutter. No. For more on no. Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.